Okay guys, I've got $100. Going into Walmart with my son Mark. Walmart is always talking about how it is uh, everyday low prices. So the kids need shorts. Socks. Um, okay, the kids need shorts and socks and a couple of shirts. And I'm gonna see if I can get four kids at least two or three of each with this hundred dollar bill. Let's go. So the Walmart in our area is finally taking the time to catch up with all the other Walmarts. So they've been renovating like crazy. But I will say that I feel like in their attempt to make it modern, they forgot the inventory. I feel like Walmart used to have options and now they barely have clothes. Okay, so we were in Walmart. They've done a revamping. And if you can see, they're more like boutique style now. I really need to get enough clothes for them for this trip, but it does not look like it's gonna stretch very far. I was already at the $50 mark and I'd already gotten clothes for two kids. So we're going to try Primark and see if we can find some deals there. Okay, so sometimes things don't go according to plan. Uh, we went into Walmart and we thought you know they have everyday low prices but i think walmart has forgotten its motto because we definitely uh the prices were similar to target and they did not give you the same quality that target gave and so now we're going to try to stretch our dollar elsewhere we're going to go and uh to the primark in arundel mills mall because it's a relatively new store and it is known to have cheap uh, sales so I'm gonna go see what I can see there if all else fails I can always hit a thrift store so let's go okay so Primark was better but they had already switched to fall and winter clothes I mean sweatshirts hoodies and long sleeves y'all I sweat just walking into the store from my car we're good on warm clothes for a few months Primark we still have some summer to go needless to say finding summer clothes for our trip was tough but I managed to get some reasonably priced items and I realized while I was shopping I didn't need to get something for every kid so I focused on the two who needed it most after buying everything at Primark we stopped at Old Navy on the way out y'all tell Tell me why I found everything I was looking for and it was cheaper. I've been thrifting so much that I forgot the art of shopping around, but I ain't gonna forget it again. Okay, Marky and I conquered something today. Marky was my accountability. We had $100, we went to Walmart, we went to Primark and we shopped at Primark and we came in at what price did we come in at? $96. I don't think that was the, the other price. That 90, I think it was 98, somewhere around there. 96 or 98. Then I got the great idea to go and check out another store, Old Navy. And Old Navy was having a sale. 60% off everything. Yeah, a bunch of a bunch of stuff. And they actually had the things that we were looking for, like shirts and shorts. Now we weren't able to get all four kids anything, but two of my kids still are pretty good because I just recently did some shopping and Marky has them I included. Marky, yep, he got a pair of some socks. He realized that what we actually wanted was at this store and we ended up spending $96 there, I think. But remember, we only had 100. So of course, I have a weak spot for my kids and I often want to spend money on them just this part of being a mom so I was trying to figure it out <sighs> figure it out yep and then my mom thought of the great idea why don't we return all the stuff except for the socks and we ended up saving a lot of money today I will say that I had a moment of weakness because when it comes to my kids I will do anything for them even if that means going over budget but my husband and I recently had a conversation about how um, we keep doing the same thing, like living above our means, not sticking to our budget month after month, and then wondering why we're not making progress. And because that's my weak spot when it comes to spending fast food and my kids. I will spend any amount of money on either of those two categories without any regrets because I figure my kids need the clothes and I don't even buy designer so you know I'm not spending a ton of money maybe a couple hundred here maybe every three months every four months and I had a moment of weakness sitting in that chair I even called my husband and was like babe they really need the clothes I I we could make it work we 
can figure out. We can take it from a different line in our budget. And he's like, babe, then we're always going to be broke. We're always going to be poor. We're never going to get a house. We keep blowing the budget. He's like, you know, we can try again in the next budget. We can put some more money and buy them some more clothes in the next budget, which is totally true. In that moment, I was battling two things. One, the embarrassment of returning 90 eight dollars worth of clothing that I just bought not less than an hour ago and the need to make sure that my the, the the guilt of not being able to clothe my kids the way I wanted to because my funds wouldn't allow it and I'm very thankful that Marky came along with me because he was like I mean he put me on blast at the register like we're gonna need to return everything in this bag to get this stuff here <laughs> and then for me I'm thinking that was another part of it where I was like what kind of example am I showing my kid I told him he saw me say I have this hundred dollar budget he helped me stay within the budget and then if I go and blow the budget what example am I showing him so I swallowed my pride I took the stuff back we returned it he got his socks you see it show everybody your socks Mark got his Minecraft socks. Favorite. That was one thing that we could keep because uh, we spent less at the other store. Stay within budget. We only spent a hundred dollars, literally one hundred. Um, and he got some socks and the two kids that didn't have any summer clothes got summer clothes. What do you think about this shopping trip, Mark? It was a good shopping trip. What I got from this was that even though some kids might be small, and when you go to your, when you go with your parents to go shop for something, and all you want is toys, sometimes it's better to just come there with no money and just help with their budget. Better to just go with your parents with no money, and then just say, let me help you, mom, daddy. Better to help people than just to ask them, hey, can we do this? And we should just go along with what our parents are. Because our parents don't mean any harm for us, and sometimes it might turn out for you. Because the kid might get new clothes that he wanted, or he might get something else because he was so good, or something like that. If you're, any of the kids are watching this, this is a moral for you. Help your parents? Who knows? Maybe that helping might pay off. Thank you. So yeah, guys. I stayed with the budget, helping my son. A little pep talk for my husband about being broke forever. I was a little bit embarrassed returning everything. While we think it's not a big deal, that money could have been used elsewhere. Blowing the budget, taking it off track, it also derails you from your financial goals. So Mark and I are re recommitting to our, our debt freedom journey. Um, and it's not easy especially with all the things that we want to do for our kids, the people we want to hang out with, and you know, everything outside, just stepping outside costs money. But this is, yeah, this is one small win, and I'm hoping to make more of these decisions, more of these wise financial decisions moving forward, so that we can finally get rid of this debt that is like plaguing us. So yeah, thanks for joining us today as we, uh, we're on the adventure to find good clothes yes. under budget. Under budget. Bye.